Hey, so I just really want to say uh, real quick that I know I've been gone for a while and it's just because I've had no motivation to make videos just because of how Call of Duty is right now. And so yeah, that's all I just wanted to say. And now let's just get right into it. So Call of Duty is dead. And it's been dead for a long time now. Um, I think the last good Call of Duty was Cold War. But in the community's reception, like overall, I'd say the last good Call of Duty in terms of the community's eyes was Black Ops 3. And that's really sad because they've released eight Call of Duties. Sorry, six Call of Duties since then. And none of them have been up to the standards of the one from that way from that long ago and black ops 3 wasn't even that good in my opinion so the last like golden era cod was black ops 2 and that was 10 years ago so that's crazy to me and i just want kind of wanted to come on here and just talk about how you know call of duty is dead and i know technically it's not dead no game is dead unless as long as there's one person playing it like someone's playing call of duty 2 right now call of duty 2 is not dead but I'm talking in terms of how the community is reacting overall, and if the franchise is on an uphill or downhill uh, trend, or if just the games are good, and um, I think that that's really, can't, none of those can apply to Call of Duty, like, uh, Vanguard is a prime example, ex example of how Call of Duty is just dead. The game released with barely any content, the content wasn't good, and it was broken as all hell. Like, I actually got on to get gameplay of this video. I wanted to play multiplayer, but, you know, packet bursts can literally not move. I died when shooting someone point blank with a shotgun, and they turned around and killed me somehow. Makes no sense. So then I hopped on zombies, and I was packet bursting, and then I paused my uh, game to go to go to the washroom, came back, I was kicked. So I was just like, you know what, I'm going to see if I have any spare footage, and yeah, luckily I do. But if I didn't have this, then I wouldn't have any gameplay to show you guys. So if that's not an indication, I don't know what is, but... It just makes me sad to say that this franchise is dead because Call of Duty is, it it does it's actually mind boggling how uh, there's still people playing it because the franchise has taken so many hits and it's in such a bad state that like any other franchise would be dead. Call of Duty has the worst games coming out, most buggy, broken messes that are driven by no passion, only for profit, and it has no developer communication with other people or with uh, the community. And the games just aren't fun. So I don't know how, but through all that, this franchise has stayed alive, even remotely. Vanguard should have killed it off. And still, they're still raking in, like, high numbers. I know Vanguard's, like, the worst-selling Call of Duty in years, but it's still the best-selling game of 2021. Whatever. Like, one of the, the, those margins. You guys know what I mean. But it's, it's just crazy to me that nothing can kill this franchise and it's just it pisses me off though because you know that means just they can just do whatever they want like with vanguard and you know people will still buy it and now you know you guys may be asking me you know like we know this call of duty's been dead like what's your point well my point is is that this franchise is something that we used to love like i wish we could just go back to the golden era or get new games to come out to fit the golden era of cod but i don't think we we're ever going to go back to that um like with Black Ops 2, Modern Warfare 3, Modern Warfare 2, Black Ops 1, even Ghosts I really liked. Um, but just, it's sad. It's sad to me that we're never going to go back to those times. And, you know, if they just made good games, we would be. But Call of Duty's been dead for a while now. I think everyone knows that. Everyone knows the problems with it. They're never going to change them. We've been arguing about the same problems for like the past eight years. Nothing's changed. Uh, people ask developers on Twitter. No one comes and helps out. It's just, there's nothing to do. Um, the games are less polished than ever, and they're just not fun to play. The gameplay is boring. There's nothing new being added. Everyone regards Black Ops 3 as being a really good COD. That, really, like I said, released six years ago. Like, you know, shouldn't the improvement be going up, not down? Like, that just makes no sense to me. And it's all just because of crunch time and all that stuff. Like, Treyarch's had to clutch up for Sledgehammer twice now. And I think there's rumor has it they're clutching up for Infinity Ward on their next game. Like, let the developers be. Let them have passion for their games and create them in peace. Which I think, you know, the whole point of this video is that, you know, Microsoft acquiring Call of Duty. I think that's huge. If we can stop this, you know, three-year cycle, 
go let the developers be give them good workplace like an environment where they can create games and i think it's just going to help out so much zombies can be in such a better state than it's in call of duty as a whole can be such a better better state that it's in with microsoft and that's what i'm really excited for uh, i think it's rumored that 20, COD 2023 is going to be the last of the uh, the year release cycle, which is ironically going to be a Treyarch game, and hopefully that game gets so much support every single year, like for like the next five years, and gets like new maps, new modes, everything. Like that'll be so nice, such a breath of fresh air from the rut that we're in right now. Like I said, I don't even know how Call of Duty's still alive, and the problem is is that Activision they could just keep releasing garbage content like they have with Vanguard every single year, and people are still going to buy it. So it makes no sense to me. And it just makes me angry that, you know, we fall into such a state where no one fucking wants to play the game. Like, it just sucks. And that's all I kind of just wanted to come on here and just talk about that. You know, the game's in a really bad state. Um, you know, a lot of problems with it. I don't know how it's still alive. But I also wanted to talk about how um, there are new horizons for the game and if we could be on a new golden era as long as microsoft plays their cards right um but that's about it man i'm sorry this this video was a bit more depressing i'm just sad about you know this game that we used to play and love just it's not fun anymore and um yeah like you know videos no one wants to watch cod videos like the feeling of playing cod is just not there anymore and it's just sad um And I think that Activision just really needs to get their fucking act together, <laughs> ironically, um, because this is just not fun anymore. And if you guys see me stop posting COD, this is kind of why. Just the game's just not fun anymore. I'm not. I'm not like quitting COD or anything like that. I'm just saying if I do post other games, don't act surprised because Call of Duty is in such a bad state. Vanguard is such a bad game. It's just crazy to me. But anyway, see you guys in the next one. Peace.